I'm joined with Lou Lopez Sinichal, who was the fifth overall pick in the WNBA draft to the Dallas Wings, the first Mexican-born player to join in the WNBA. Lou, what does that mean, that honor mean to you and your family? It's very special, uh, you know, to, to be able to um, have an impact like that um, in Mexico and also in France, uh, representing both of my countries, both of my families, um, just um, didn't know it, it was going to happen. So it was really cool that I found that out after the draft. So very, very grateful. And your journey is a testament of hard work and patience. At 19 years old, you sent out 280 applications to Division I and Division II schools looking for an opportunity to play college basketball in the United States. And you got your first opportunity at Fairfields. But looking back at that process, how difficult was that, you know, looking for that first opportunity in college? It wasn't, it wasn't easy, that's, that's for sure. Uh, it was way more on, on me and people who helped me, like my stepdad, to really reach out uh, to the teams and just um, send emails and videos, try as much as possible. And sending all those emails and having also feedback and answers back was giving me hope as well. At Fairfields, you really left a legacy. You were named the MAC Player of the Year in 2021 and then led the school to its first conference championship in 24 years. How did your time there prepare you to play at UConn? Um, it was an amazing four years at Fairfield. I was able to, to get used to the college environment. Um, I think that um, meeting a lot of people, um, a lot of teammates and the coaches prepared me well You know, to, to compete every day. and. One of the, the main goal was to win the, the, the championship. Um, so we did that my senior year, which was very special. How do you hope to connect with the Hispanic community here in DFW? I'm very excited uh, to meet them. I, I'm very excited and happy to be able to represent that. And if, if I can be an example for others to follow those steps, I'm very happy to be closer maybe to the Mexican community.